Hey guys, what's up? My name is Deej the Dragon Gamer, and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to install NVIDIA GeForce Experience version 2.11.4.0 which was the final release of GeForce Experience version 2 before the version 3 rewrite. I will also show you how to prevent it from updating to the later versions. Now, why would you do this? For starters, version 3 has quite a few bugs, especially with the NVIDIA Share feature, which is what replaced Shadowplay. I know a lot of people, especially me, uh, have had problems getting Share to actually work properly on Windows 10. I don't know if it has any, any problems with Windows 7, 8, or 8.1, but I um, this is actually why I started looking into installing an older version of GeForce Experience. Now, version 2 of Shadowplay actually has where you can record with no audio at all and you can actually record your audio in a separate program like I'm doing right now. I'm actually using a program called Ardor which I would highly recommend learning how to use if you have the time and patience to learn how to use it. It is a great audio program and um, it's actually what I replaced Audacity with but I, uh, I'm not going to go too far into details about our door right now. That's for another video. I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, now, if you record your video and audio separately from each other, what I've found is that actually helps with performance, especially if you're on a lower end system. And also, if you record your audio separately, whether it be game audio or your mic audio or whatever, you can actually record it losslessly. And I may do a tutorial on how to do that later on. I don't know. Now, another thing, if it's not broke, why fix it? With the NVIDIA Share, uh, with the new NVIDIA Share and some of the new features for GeForce Experience version three, to be honest, I found them to be more of a pain in the ass than they were in version two. Now you will need the version 2.11.4.0 GeForce Experience installer. And you will also need a text editor. I would highly recommend using a program called Notepad++, but any text editor other than the Microsoft Office tools, any text editor should do the job. So what's going on right now is I'm going to go ahead and going to go ahead and install GeForce Experience. Now, uh, I've already set up the next step on my system, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do something that you will need to do right before you install GeForce Experience. Now, the reason I haven't reinst or I'm reinstalling it right now is because I just updated my drivers to the latest version, and I had to use a program called DDU, which is Display Driver Uninstaller, and I would highly recommend using that program too. Uh, anyways, this next step is how to prevent NVIDIA GeForce Experience from updating. You're actually going to want to do, do this before you install GeForce Experience because if you don't, a lot of times what will happen is when you restart your computer, the program will automatically start trying to update itself. So first, you're going to go to your C drive, you're going to go to Windows, you're going to go to System32, Drivers, ETC, and you're going to copy your host's file to your desktop so you can have a backup copy. Then what you're going to do is you're going to open it. I like opening it with 
Notepad++ because it's an amazing text editor. In fact, um, what I may do is I may go ahead and add it to uh, a zip file and upload it to my Dropbox. It and it, all the other tools that are required for this, including GeForce Experience version two. But anyways, your hosts file is right here and what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to add a new line at the bottom and type in 127.0.0.1. You're going to want to put a space. I like to tab over a few times until uh, I'm right below where it shows localhost here. And you're going to want to type in nvidia.com. You're going to want to also do another line with the same uh, 127.0.0.1. And you're going to want to put download.nvidia.com and then you're going to do another line and put international hyphen gfe.download.nvidia.com. Now, you could probably get away with just nvidia.com, but doing it this way will actually prevent GeForce Experience from contacting NVIDIA and automatically downloading your updates. Now what 127.0.0.1, what that is, is that is your local, local host. Um, what this does is this actually tells your computer, well, it tells your network that when an application tries to access other than your browser. Your browser can still access NVIDIA and all that stuff. Anyways, um, when an application tries to access any of these services, it will actually instead be redirected back to your computer and it won't actually access those sites. It's really useful for preventing other applications from doing different things also. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy your hosts file, which I actually just lost. Okay, it's right there. You're going to want to copy and then drag and drop and paste it into where your old one is. And you're going to want to replace the file. Now, depending on what kind of antivirus you have, you may have to do some other steps to get this to work, but that's well outside the, uh, that's well outside this tutorial and I'm not going to be of any help with that. You'll just have to go on Google or whatever search engine you use and type in your antivirus and be like, uh, be like, antivirus blocks hosts file, which is one of the problems I had with my antivirus, which is Avira. But anyways, you're, um, you're definitely going to want to change your hosts file. Now, one of the downsides to doing this is whenever a new version of G, uh, new version of your driver comes out, you're going to actually have to manually download and install it instead of running it through GeForce Experience. And every time you install a new driver, you are going to have to reinstall GeForce Experience version two. And this actually applies to all versions of GeForce Experience. Now, one of the core uses for this, and I've already got it set up. In fact, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you this real really fast. Uh, you can actually uh, make a copy of your GeForce Experience shortcut. You can make a copy of it, paste it here, and then rename it Shadow Play, and then just add at the very end of the target, hyphen Shadow Play. You can add that and what it will do is it will actually allow you to run shadow play directly without having to use GeForce Experience. Now, I uh, I don't have it set up right right now, but 
you can actually uh, you can actually just set up shadow play like you normally would. I personally don't like using shadow mode. I just use manual, and I don't use this very often anymore because I use OBS for various different things, and I also use DX Tori, but whatever. Like I said, one of the core benefits to using an older this older version of Shadow Play is the fact that you can turn off audio recording, which is really nice if you're using a, another audio recording program. Now, a serious practical use you can use for this, and also uh, my webcam just crapped out on me. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why it did that, but I have no cam right now. GG. G motherfucking G. Anyways, um, a practical use for this is the, uh, it, say you wanted to create a, uh, say you wanted to create a podcast or you wanted to discuss various different gaming related news and you just want gameplay in the background with no audio. You don't have to go in and edit out the audio or remove it. You don't have to do that or and then re-encode your video. You can actually just put the video, uh, put your gameplay, you can just put it in the background and you don't have to do much of anything else with it. You can also, if you're one of those weird people, you can create a silent film using your gameplay footage. And there's other things you can do with it. And that's my entire tutorial. There's really nothing else needed to make this work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zip up all of the software required and some of the recommended stuff. I'm going to zip it up, upload it to my Dropbox, and I'm going to drop. Uh, I'm going to put a link to the zip file down below this video. I thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video please feel free to click that like button and i hope you guys found use for this video or for this tutorial again i thank you guys for watching and i hope you all have a wonderful night